What is up everyone and welcome to For Glory. So this is actually going to be the second upload of today because I actually have like a practically free day today except for work but whatever that's not for a few hours so I'm going to be able to start another upload and I think today we're going to, I'm going to show you my Greninja because I was talking about it in the previous video that might come up before this, the, the Smash Ladder video. I was talking about my Greninja. So I, I think I might play some Greninja in this one just to give you a little showcase, even though it's not... <laughs> it's for glory, so we'll see what happens. So first, let's see, we're fighting against Ryu here. Alright, we got ourselves some lag, but that's okay. Alright, so kind of my primary objective with, with Greninja is to keep him out and then wait for them to make a mistake and punish it. I'm so glad he didn't finish off with that. That could have been a lot of percent for me, especially because Greninja is a fast faller. So yeah, Greninja's, um, I know it may seem like I'm using this move a lot, but essentially Ryu will absolutely trash me if he gets up close. So my game plan is definitely just to keep him out and I have some good punishes. Okay, so I saw that he jumped right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him with a soft one, right? Right, watch this. Oh, uh, if he doesn't do that. Alright, yep, see, I made a mistake there. I just use that mainly just to kind of get out of there. Ah, we're good. We living. Ah. Yep. Oh, that was a good catch. I should have done it a little bit further out, but whatever. Alright. No rage, that didn't kill. Or, not a whole lot of rage. I don't know why I'm just going for that. Whoops. Alright, so we waited for the air dodge there, which is interesting. Oh, and he taunts. Okay. Ah, uh, I keep... I don't know why I keep flipping that around. Yeah, it's not a bad Ryu. Ah. I'm fishing for that grab because I know an up throw will kill now. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. He kind of locked himself in with that. If he had backed it up, I would have kept side B going more. Fortunately, Greninja's dash attack is super safe. I thought I held shield that entire time. Read the roll backwards, but didn't get the punish. Oh, that was too quick. This guy's just kind of... I don't understand the, the reuse that... It's just... Oh, yep, he caught me with a forward smash. That's going to kill. And he taunts again. This is one salty Ryu. <laughs> Alright. We'll do a set with this guy. So we won the first game. Not bad, sir. Not bad. I just don't understand the Ryu's that will just like randomly shore you can for no reason. I didn't really get a solid punish on him. For oh, and he leaves. <laughs> yeah. Greninja is definitely one of those characters that's kind of hard to play in lag. I'm not jawning or anything. It's just... It's definitely one of those things where, like, there were a lot of mistakes made because, simply because input lag. Like, a lot of times where I just randomly B reverse my neutral B for no reason. When I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh, so, Greninja's. So I just did uh, Greninja's pivot tilt forward. It's like the funniest thing. It's like a dash attack. So, like, 
Look at this. Oops, if you perfect pivot and then like forward tilt the same direction you're perfect pivoting, it does like this weird like forward momentum. It's really cool because he just slides with it. And he just is facing the same direction. So Greninja has like this really dumb like chain grab like thing. I don't know what I was, why I was going for it there. It's hard to do on pit. It works mainly against fast fallers. It works against Sheik, I think. Um, it works against Captain Falcon and Fox. It, it works especially against Fox. So I'll do it every single time I face a Fox player, pretty much. Um, but it's like kind of really stupid, but it works for some reason. You basically do a down throw into down tilt and then grab them again <laughs> and it's completely avoidable but it's something that people just don't react fast enough so i really try not to use side b all that much with greninja because it is extremely punishable but it is good for fast punishes like right there well when i last used it I was expecting to roll around me right there. That's why I did that. Ah. No one's fallen for it. Jiminy Christmas. Alright. That's one thing that's hard. It's really hard to regain stage control with Greninja. So that was smart of him just to grab ledge. I was waiting for him to... There we go. <laughs> yep, Greninja's uh, up B is just kind of insane sometimes. I've gotten so many kills from just, just getting people to recover unsafely onto stage with it. Okay, I don't know what he's going for there. He's probably just fishing for the kill. Boy, <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know why I went for. A f what is with these salty people? I I feel like my Greninja always gets the saltiest of players. It's probably because. Yep, see right there, that was lag caused that. It's mean to get hit by all that, because I couldn't get the reaction in time. Wow. You're so smart, you did shield damage. See, now he's one of the. He's turning into someone who wants to get the kill, so he's just gonna spam smashes. And that move. Yeah. Uh, up smash is so good. It's like so good. See, I basically just waited for him to do something and he tried to grab me and I was like, <laughs> nope. Oh my gosh. And it kills so just, oh, it's beautiful. But yeah, a lot of my Greninja played isn't as well shown. Oh, and this guy left too. What is with all these salty people? Salty people, relax. I understand that I'm sp spewing salt water at you, but like chill <laughs> but yeah i really do enjoy playing greninja and i think um it, the next bracket i go to if things go well in friendlies and i get some feedback from people um seeing how they like it i may consider switching to greninja as my main i know that um originally i said that i was moving to Sheik, but the problem i have with Sheik is that uh, just th there's a lot of player there's a lot of sheep players that's pretty much what it is ooh interesting mix up and so since there's a lot of uh, sheep players I just don't find it rewarding to do well with sheep because I'm like oh anything that I do with sheep it's like oh that was such a good read okay it's like anything 
rewarding I do with Sheik. Someone else has already done it probably a thousand times. So it's like, eh. Like, or a thousand other people have done it at least. So it's like, probably not a thousand, but you get you get the message. So I'm really digging this Mac player because he's super patient. That was some insane shield pressure. I don't know why I couldn't roll out of that. Pretty much, I got to do something right now. There we go, okay. That KO punch was really starting to scare me. Ah. Yep, I anticipated that, uh, him to jump from ledge, but I just didn't time it right. It's pretty much one. Ah, yep, that was good. He waited for me to jump and land unsafely. This is a good Mac. There we go. Okay. He was waiting to tech. But I caught him with the up smash. Ah. Yep. Uh, I didn't mean to roll, actually. So what happened there is I tried to drop shield, run forward, and grab him. But um, I have this problem where a lot of times I'll end up rolling without meaning to um, when I try to drop shield and run. See, now I'm starting to play a lot more aggressively, which I shouldn't. Okay, so next time, let's not jump over him, because, yep, see, right there. It's a good Mac player. Ah, I expect him to roll backwards there. Jiminy Christmas. Little Mac, please. Good little Mac players are just scary. Because the character's ground game is ridiculous. There's literally not much I can do here, because Greninja does not have that great of an up-close game. Ah! <laughs> okay, there we go. He's done. Just kidding, I kid. Now he's done. Nope, just kidding, I might be done. Alright. We're gonna counter. Because why not? Okay, this guy's totally reading my rolls in. Am I dead? Oof. It's close. Alright. So good at recovering. Woo! No, oh, I'm done. Ah! Oh, that was such a good match, though. I really want to get a set with this guy. That is a good Mac. Yeah, at the end there, I was trying to, I was trying to bait. I forget what I was trying to bait. Yeah, I just threw out a forward smash because I was trying to bait an option. I forget what it was. Jiminy Christmas, that little Mac was good. Oh, and he leaves. <laughs> Someone I want to have another match with to get the matchup knowledge because that's a good Mac, and just. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh! I guess we'll we'll get this guy and he'll leave after this, probably knowing that the trend today. Oh well, I must have just a really annoying Greninja to fight against because I I end up facing extremely salty players. Ooh, and I get to shoot the chi oh. Taunting, it's taunt bait. No, it's not taunt bait. All right, then we. Oh, come on! Let me grab you. There we go. It's so dumb. And then watch. Oh, whoops! I meant to. Yeah. Look. So the original intent there was to drop off 
and back air. And then that would have sealed the stock if he missed the tech. Boy, who do you think I am? So, I, yeah, as, as far as competitive Smash goes, I've been having a bit of a crisis lately um, as far as the, the mindset goes. that Because I've been getting extremely just... Uh, not salty because it's, it's I'm not mad at the other player for anything they did I'm just I'm getting irritated at myself for um, for making many mistakes and stuff because I don't feel like I'm there's just a disconnect somewhere so I've been trying to work on my mental game a little bit more and being just less like just caring less <laughs> But uh, just caring less in general, not, not caring less necessarily, but getting less worried or worked up about making mistakes because a lot of times I'd make a mistake or miss input or something like that and then it ends up making me get irritated and then I start making more mistakes and this person <laughs> left. But anyways, that's something I've been trying to work on and I think it's starting to show a little bit better. I, I have been playing better since I've started focusing on my mental game and um, me not getting so frustrated and all that when I'm playing and so hopefully at this next um, this next bracket I go to this weekend I'll be able to bring this new mindset into play and also Greninja as well because I feel like my Greninja is pretty good and that Mac player was so good anyway I feel like my Greninja is pretty good and I just hope I can do well at this next tournament and see how it goes from there. If it does end up working out, then I will uh, see about switching to Greninja, honestly. And then I may keep Pikachu as a secondary um, just to cover a few matchups. Not very many, though, because Gren Greninja does fairly well in, in a lot of matchups, but I may keep Pikachu just for some sort of counterpick. Who knows? All I know is that I enjoy playing Greninja a lot and I do well with him. And he's fun, and I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks you, thanks, thank you, thanks to you, <laughs> so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know somehow by either liking the video or commenting. If you have any suggestions or anything, uh, characters you want me to play on here on For Glory, go ahead and uh, lay those down there as well. And um, yeah, and. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about playing Greninja or any other characters you may want me to consider playing because there are a lot of characters I haven't seriously considered. So uh, it'd be nice to have some input on people that you think I'd be good with and or characters you'd like to see me play and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, like I said, thank you all so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace. I don't know why I said peace, that was cheesy. See ya. <laughs>